Hi, my name is Steve Clifford, and today I'm going to talk about some of the safety features on your new vehicle and how to turn them off should you decide that you need to. If you purchased a new car in the past couple of years, you probably have something on it called a pre-collision system. Some manufacturers call it emergency automatic braking or something else, but Basically, it uses a radar system to look at the road in front of you, and if it sees that there's a car and you're not doing anything about it, your car will give you a warning, and then it'll hit the brakes, and it'll hit them pretty hard. It'll prevent you from moving forward and running into it. I, some of the more sophisticated systems also have something called a pedestrian detection system. And what that does is it uses a camera behind the rear view mirror of your car. And that camera is looking for people. The more sophisticated ones don't just look in front of the car, they actually look to the shoulders, they look at the crosswalks. Um, some recognize bicyclists and others even work at night. So really, really sophisticated. And they work well. You don't get a lot of false positives with these things and they're meant to prevent accidents. They prevent you from moving forward and running into people. Now, the only issue is, is your vehicle doesn't understand what that person might be doing in front of you. If that person is presenting a lethal threat to you or people in your car, your vehicle doesn't understand that. If that person standing in front of you is actually mo motioning you forward so that he can give you directions to somewhere else, your car doesn't understand that either. All it understands is there's a person there. I'm not going to let this car move forward because there's a person there. So there may be cases where you want to disable that. And, and the cases that I can think of would be an emergency case. So I'm going to show you how to turn this off, but please understand that if you choose to turn this off, uh, number one, it's temporary. And number two, like I said, this thing is meant to prevent accidents. So if you turn off the system, everything you do from there on out is deliberate. You are making a deliberate choice to move forward. And so all of the legal ramifications come down on you, not the car, not the manufacturer, it's your fault at that point. So I want to just kind of stress that and understand that we are, all we are doing here is showing you how to get the decision making in your hands. You know what the tactical situation is. You know what the legal situation, you understand the moral and ethical responsibilities that there are of moving forward. Your car doesn't know that. All your car knows is there's a person in front of you and it will hit the brakes. So let me show you how to do this. Now, I am in a Toyota, but most cars are going to work in a very similar way. You have a multi-information display up here, and I'm going to use this little touchpad here to move my selector to the different menu settings. As I slide across all the way over to the right, I hit the thing that looks like a gear. And once I'm at that gear, the first thing says LDA, that is Lane Departure Alert. I'm going to use the down arrow to go to PCS, that stands for pre-collision system. Then I'm going to use the center button to select that. So when, once I select it, then I can move up and down and change the sensitivity if I want. But I'm going to use the selector again to select that, which turns off the pre-collision system. It is just as simple as that. Now, on a Toyota you can do that while moving. Your vehicle may not be able to do that. It might require that you be stopped. So you need to learn about that now and figure that out. Um, and you need to figure all of this out now anyway, because you don't want to get into an emergency situation and suddenly realize, hey, I need to be able to move forward. I can thread the needle here. I can get around this, these people, but my car's not letting me. That's not the time to realize that you didn't pay attention when you took delivery of your car, and it's not the time to be flipping through your owner's manual. So learn to do it now. The other thing is um, practice it, because if you learn this once and then you never do it again, you're going to forget. If an emergency pops up, you're going to completely forget. So maybe practice with this. Once a month, I would recommend going through all of the menu settings in your car. Make sure you know how to use them. 
you might even find that there's some menu setting in there you didn't know about and it makes your driving experience better once you figure it out so practice with it that keeps your mindset right that keeps you thinking all right what do i do in an emergency you should always be thinking about how do you handle emergencies before the emergency pops up so practice with it now the other thing is with the toyota once you turn this off it does not stay off it turns itself back on when you turn off the vehicle and restart it so the default is to have it on and that is as it should be because this is a safety feature and turning off safety features um, usually not a good idea unless there's a very good reason to so if that reason does present itself turn it off once that reason is gone you can have your safety systems back on I I would encourage you to share this video on your social media pages. I think this is kind of an important thing. Uh, I would encourage you to subscribe to my YouTube channel as well, although most of the content is firearms related. So if you're interested in scout rifles, I'm your guy. My next video that I'm going to be doing probably will be about vehicles again. I'm going to talk about door lock settings and, and how, to, how to change those up uh, for largely the same reasons, emergency situation. So, uh, if you'd like, go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Again, my name is Steve Clifford, and I do thank you for watching, and be safe.